We're here at the 2017 Snowbird Nationals, brought to you by Game and Hobbies, and we have Robbie Dodge, RC America driver, and now, uh, how should we say this, you are a co-helper outer yeah, of yeah. 180 Raceway. Part of a team that kind of helps run it, yeah. Right on. So this is a 180 Raceway, used to be Middle River Hobbies down in, uh, what's this town in Maryland? Middle River, Maryland. Middle River, Maryland, Maryland. Yeah, very original. Pretty. So, um, tell us a little bit about what goes into running a track. A lot of work. As any track owner knows, it's a lot of work. It's it's hard to um, to run a program and, and a facility and uh, you know try to race it yourself. And it seems anybody that's interested in this hobby wants to be racing as well. I mean, it's, uh, it's very rare to find somebody that's willing to put all their time and attention into running the facility and all that. Um, so I really appreciate those people for sure because I know how difficult it is. I've kind of grown up my whole well, since I was like 10, so this is almost, that's like 20 years now. My dad was a race director at Glen Burnie, Maryland. Um, and uh, so I kind of have been, I've seen that, you know, the work that's involved in that almost my whole time racing. So um, it is a lot of work. Um, I can't say that I do the most work out of our group. I, I probably, I, I just help as much as I can. But, um, you know, it is, it's a lot involved. Well, I see you online a lot, doing a lot of promotion there. That's definitely one mm -hmm. of the key factors. What else do you think goes into uh, running a successful track, both from the promoter standpoint and from the, uh, the racer standpoint? Um, just making sure people have a good time. We just had, uh, you were a huge help, actually, with right. Snowbirds. Um, not Snowbirds, uh, yeah. it was slow yeah. birds. Snowbirds. So it was uh, aimed at the <laughs> slower classes. Of course, you know, the USGT was the biggest mm -hmm. class there. Uh, F1, VTA, Mini Coopers, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, people appreciate those classes. They're more fun, they're more realistic. Uh, so we had, uh, I think, 90 entries? 91. 91. I don't count. Okay, yeah. 91 was the final. I saw it up to 94 at some point. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was... Had to drop. I, yeah, well, Too that much. happens. They were on, yeah. like, four classes at a time. Yeah, and we tried to do it all on Sunday, so, mm -hmm. you know, that was... That's a long day. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was huge for our track. I mean, that's, that's really going to help us, you know, going into next year. Like, are we going to do this again, mm -hmm. you know? Um, on a weekly basis, we try to you know promote those classes still, but um, you know, it's a little bit tougher. Uh, that was a huge event, you know, with Ray Murray, Al Sedano, yourself, Casey Young was a huge part of that. Um, John Brown as well. John Brown, yeah. I'm sorry, I knew there was one more, but I don't know him very well, so I apologize. But um, yeah, but uh, yeah, that, that team, the original team from Slow Birds, was there. I was unfortunately I was no help in that one, but I wish I could have been there at least to okay. see an office all here. You had to get down here. I believe you're building a house. As I am well, building so a house. Yeah, got a lot going I've on. been working on building this house for two years. We finally broke ground in August, and now we think we're going to move in in March. So right on. Hopefully. So you're running a track. You got a full time job. You're building a house. Yeah. That's a lot of work. It's pretty busy. Yeah. So what do you see for the the hobby going forward, uh, or sport, however you want to call it? What do you think is this the key to success for local tracks like your own? Just so making sure people have fun. Yeah. Um, what can you do to, to, to further that along? Is it offering classes? Is it keeping rules consistent? Like, what do you see as the, the key? keeping rules consistent? Is kind of huge. Um, I mean, technology is always advancing. Seventeen five now is faster than thirteen five was last year. Um, we see that in just in, in this race alone. You know, we're we're about half a second faster for a lap in seventeen five than we were last year. And the gap between seventeen five and thirteen five last year was like three tenths, probably. Do you think some of that's due to the black carpet? Or is it also motor we're technology? We black carpet last year, too. We did. Okay. Yeah, so it's just motors. Motors, wow. Um, so I think that kind of hurts a little bit. Um, technology advancing so fast. I think we need to kind of tighten up the rules a little bit. Um, but keep them consistent, you know. Um, make, keep the cars drivable. Uh, part of the appeal, I think, for USGT is the treaded tires that are hard. You know, there's not a lot of traction there. Um, the motors are a little bit slower, which now they're like 17 by was last year. Um, and realistic bodies, you know, people can relate, spectators can relate mm -hmm. to um, a Cadillac or, or a Mustang or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, people are running. Yeah. Um, so just that, will, I think, will help get people coming in. Um, we wanted to uh, run, kind of walk, go around like neighborhoods in the area and put flyers in, but we have nothing else going on, you know, like during the week, so it's kind of hard to, to promote it. And we don't have anything to sell anybody. Mm -hmm. um, so. Know, how do you wow. get somebody involved in the hobby? We're literally just a club, just like Porsche was, yeah. um, where all we have is like tires and traction mm -hmm. Um But so we need hobby shops. Yeah. We need to support our hobby shops. Mm -hmm. We need to support the tracks, um, keep them going, um, and just try to get new people involved. 
how, and to retain them, I think it's just make sure they keep having fun, keep learning. Um, we try to help as many people as we can, like uh, like G. Craig Xavier, Sam Isaacs, myself, uh, Amy Jenkins. You know, we're always helping the guys that are newer or, or maybe a little off, off pace, trying to take some time and work on themselves with them and give them advice and stuff. And, um, it seems to help, you know, to appreciate that. And uh, everybody wants to go faster, so when we see positive results for them, um, that makes us happy, right? And then, you know, they feel better too. So. I think our, our local crowd is, is pretty good. You know, our local racers are really fast. Um, so even like, uh, you know, our guys running USGT, they can go anywhere and like be really super competitive. And I think that's just comes down to helping each other. You know, we're all like, we're all like a big team. Even though, you know, you've got Boston Maddox and X-Ray and, and um, BBC or whatever, Roche, you know, uh, small scale side, you know, um, we're all have that one goal of helping and and unfortunately, you don't always see that in most tracks, so I applaud you guys for doing that. Thanks. Very good. All right, well, Robbie Dodge, uh, good luck this weekend. Thank with you very much. With everything you got going on, and uh, we'll see you out on track. All right, cool. See you.